Welcome to DefianceBoats.com. We'll now talk about the new Defiance 290 Guadalupe. It's the flagship boat in the entire Defiance Pilot House series of fishing boats. Really the ultimate in sport fishing platforms for a trailerable, do everything, go anywhere sport fishing platform. It's 29 feet by 10 feet, but when you consider the setback bracket, also the bow pulpit, you've got a boat that's nearly 35 feet length overall. You'll notice the heavy duty cleats, the extra high bow rail, the integrated bow platform, and a lot of the features that go into this boat, a lot of people would say are overkill, but at Defiance Boats, it's the way we build boats. Overbuilt, underpriced, a quality product in a marketplace that really needs a product like this that's matched nowhere else. Let's go inside and I'll show you some of the features of this boat. Most noticeably, when you get into the cockpit of the 290 Guadalupe, you notice the 10-foot beam, the nearly 14 feet of, of uh, space from the back of the pilot house to the transom. The ability to carry so much bait is critical in tournament situations, but also if you're out on two or three day trips, the ability to carry enough bait to even make bait, whether it's squid or mackerel or sardines or anchovies, and to keep them alive for an extended period of time is critical in a boat of this size. Additionally, you have to notice the one-ton fish slammers that are built into the deck of the 290 Guadalupe. You can carry about 50 20-pound albacore below the deck with ice and they're macerated for easy pump out. Have you ever tried to wash down a boat with a five gallon bucket and a deck brush after a day's fishing? I can tell you we have. As a result, we've come up with this high pressure wash down system that's standard in all of the Defiance pilot houses. You can wash down the deck, get the blood and scales off the deck after every stop or clean up the boat nicely at the end of the day. You know, a lot of the boats that are manufactured today use what we call a cosmetic bow rail. Really nothing more than just a shiny trim on the front end of the boat. At Defiance, we've made a special point to develop and design high, strong, inch and a quarter stainless bow rails that allow for an angler to fish the entire front of the boat. A couple of features to pay special attention to regarding the design of the hull is the 45 degree entry, the reverse chines, and the integrated bow pulpit. You'll see that a lot of the boats that are manufactured today actually count the bow pulpit in the overall length of the boat, which we don't. Additionally, a lot of manufacturers are bolting on an aftermarket or even an accessory for a bow pulpit. This is all integrated into the bow of the boat, which helps the boat be stronger, stiffer, have a little more rigidity when it runs through the water, in addition to the fact that with the 45 degree entry, even in rough seas, the boat lands really softly when it comes off of a swell, lands into the next swell, it's a very aggressive entry to the boat. In addition to the 45 degree entry, you'll also notice, which we'll do a close up on in just a minute, the reverse chines, which run the entire length of the hull. A couple of different benefits to the reverse chine. Number one is that as you're running up swell or even quartering the swell, and you're hitting that next swell and the spray tends to come up off the, off the entry of the hull, it throws the water wide and low so it doesn't end up on the front of the pilot house as aggressively as some other designs. Additionally, when the boat comes to a rest, if you're drifting along a kelp paddy, if you slid up on some jumpers, or if you're just at rest in a bay, the boat is very stable as a result of the exaggerated reverse outside chines. It almost acts like sponsons on the outside of the boat when it's at rest, so it gives you a nice stable uh, support platform for when you're fishing or, or at drift. All Defiance Pilot House boats can be ordered with a lot of really neat options that can bolt on top of the Pilot House. Anything from just a plain flat surface to full complete towers with second stations, we can do it and we've designed it to really make sense to the fishermen. First of all, our rocket launchers only roll off four or five degrees. You know a lot of boats when they have that swept back look, they may look cool but they're not practical when it comes to fishing in the cockpit of the boat. The reason we roll them off just four or five degrees is so the rod tips are not over the cockpit when you're standing at the bait tank baiting up or trying to throw a surface iron or any other type of artificial and making an overhead cast. You don't want the rod tips hanging out over the cockpit so we just roll these off four or five degrees. We also added a couple of rod holders on the top of the spotting tower as well so the guy that's up there with binoculars if he happens to see breaking fish can turn around grab a rod and make a cast. Check out the high definition Raymarine Ray Dome that's positioned on the forward of the pilot house. We tilt it forward with a sea view stand and that gives us extra room for placing other accessories on top of the roof. 
Check out the all-new Galley package, which is an option in almost any Defiance pilot house. You can see it's a really cool unit with a Corian countertop, a stainless sink, freshwater access, and holding tank. It also has a refrigerator and a microwave. Perfect for spending the night in a marina or maybe overnighting at the islands, cruising up through the San Juans. Kind of gives you some of the creature comforts of home without being at home. Hey, talk about a cool feature for the inside of a pilot house. You know, you have to accomplish a couple of things. Number one, you have to have seating for all of your passengers. But number two, you have to have sleeping facilities in case you want to spend the night at the islands or just maybe even in the bay when you're wanting to spend the night on the boat. So we came up with this really cool feature called a convertible bunk bench. It starts out as a bench where a couple of people can sit in here. You got the forward facing captain's chair, but really with just a couple of really easy maneuvers, you can slide the bench out. You can see here, the backrest slides into a flat bunk position. Then you remove the captain's chair, which is forward facing for when you're underway. And we've got a replacement cushion that goes in where the captain's chair was in place. So you can see here that slides down onto the same pedestal. And now you've got a six foot four bunk that your passengers that were sitting right here during the trip can lay down here and have a nice comfortable night's sleep when you're uh, on the anchor or spending the night in a bay or marina. Really cool feature something that's unique to the inside of a pilot house for Defiance. And we think it's a, a feature that a lot of people are gonna want. Your new Defiance boat comes factory rigged with Honda four-stroke outboards or Yamaha four-stroke outboards.